Okay, maybe you remember this thing. Uh, mine's not doing perfectly. Uh, the reason I haven't made videos on it is because the D-pad's a little beat up, and the power button's messed up, and it's just... Uh, I dropped it, it's my fault, but uh, yeah, this is a little loose, and it still works, it's just kind of rough sometimes, and the, it's kind of hard to turn on and off, and the performance for some reason is really bad. Uh, I don't know. But, I wanted to show you game streaming on it, what the hell. I've been game streaming on other things other than the Shield because, uh, you know, for some reason the Shield likes to kick out my 5 GHz connection. Uh, this does not support 5 GHz connections, so that's that. So we are going to stream from my PC using Limelight Game Stream. And I'm going to randomly, you know, pick a, a game. So here we are, we've connected to my PC, which is a, it's running a Core i3 for 130 with a NVIDIA GTX 660 Ti, did I say that right? Yeah, uh, super clocked with uh, 6 gigs of RAM, yada yada. So that's what I have there. Uh, I'll, I'll, some of these games don't really work right because of the lack of R3 and L3, so it makes it kind of hard. So if you wanted to play something like Black Ops 2, it would be annoying. By the way, the Battlefield beta is out and it is useless. I can't even get into a game. <laughs> uh, whatever. So, you know, like I could play Titan. If you have an Xbox wired Xbox 360 controller or something, you could play these first person shooters. You'd have to plug in another controller. Or if you can figure out how to remap it, maybe. But for me, I'd rather just go with what I can play here. So, I'm going to play a game that I can play. I did have to remap the controls using Tin Core Key Mapper to get some of the controls to be seen. So that's, that's one thing. Um, yeah. So we are now booting up this game here. The latency is really good. Uh, this is... I don't know if you saw it, but it's uh, 720p at 60 frames per second. Let's see if I can raise the volume here. Okay. So this is Mortal Kombat, obviously. And they're coming out with the new one, Mortal Kombat X. This thing seems fairly low. I do have, I have uh, some AC and stuff on. I hope it's not too annoying because it's like a billion degrees out. Change costumes to Mortal Kombat 1. I prefer that over the SM Mortal Kombat uh, costume of Reptile. Alright. Works really well, even over a 2 gigahertz connection. The shield wasn't doing it right. It was lagging over a 2 gigahertz connection, so that's not bad. <laughs> Latency is great. It's perfect. And on my side, everything looks good. I mean, there's a little, you know, you'll notice a little bit of um, kind of like artifacting, but it's not that, it's quite good for that. I mean, yeah. It would just be nice if there was uh, an L3 and R3 button. <laughs> Even if they had to put it like some consoles had it. Oh, gotta do that. Yeah, if they had to put, uh, you know, little buttons here and here, that would have been a lot better than nothing at all. But, uh, and I definitely like the form factor and the look of the device over the NVIDIA Shield. But definitely the NVIDIA Shield outperforms it uh, with a lot of things. Um, yeah, <laughs> it better because it's a lot more expensive and it's made by NVIDIA who can make really nice stuff as opposed to JXD who is not as um, deep in the pockets. Um, okay, there's that. 
I tried the shield proxy with this. It did not seem to work, but I've never tried that before, so I may be doing something wrong. I don't know. I was kind of confused on it. That's for remote streaming. Um, so you can get... So you can... Ca uh, so you can connect over any Wi-Fi network instead instead of just your home network and actually stream. Getting my ass kicked. All right. Oh come on. My nuts. Screw you, Johnny Cage. Piece of crap. Whoa, lag. Hi, one. This is a really good game. I like this game. And it's fairly cheap now, too. One of the things is that if I go back to play the original Mortal Kombat's, uh, which I love, the controls are throwing me off because they're kind of swapped in a way. Oh, thank you. You and your nutbag fucking smashing, you friggin' bitch. Fucking nut. I'm a bitch, I'm gonna hit you in the nuts. Another thing that, uh, when this thing boots up, you really have to leave it alone for quite some time, and it takes forever to boot up. But you have to leave it alone for a long time. So for it to do everything it needs to do. And maybe things that I'm having start up with the device, so it may not take really that long, but... I have certain things I have that start up with this that I really want starting up with it. And they make it really chug. So I have to leave it sitting there for a while so that the performance will eventually go up when it's done starting up shit or something. I don't even know if that made any sense. Bitch. Ow. Ow. For some reason I thought he was done for. And then I just stopped trying. For like five seconds. Yeah. Or something. Round two. Fight. Yep. Yeah, you fucked me. The fuck? Okay. Oh, uh, now and now because I made a mistake, he's gonna kick my ass. That's gotta hurt. Fucking man. Gotcha, last minute shit. You're done. Now the thing with this, uh, though, well, I have to do my fatality. Fuck, fucked it up. try to I'm gonna end this I'm gonna show you how it's a little rough to end the uh, stream properly um, so what you gotta do is you gotta end your game it's not like on the shield where you can just press this hold down the start button and just completely end the game and everything's back to normal you actually you have to exit the game that's not the hard part so then you got to go up here really fast until you, you'll see these bubble things I normally have to go up three on the D-pad and over three because it won't show the UI or anything. It just shows these bubbles. And then I can press A, or this is A on my, in my world. I remapped it. And hit stop streaming. 
but you you kind of you have to press up three times and over three times, and because all that stuff just disappears off the screen, and it's very hard to end the stream properly without force closing everything. So that was that. <laughs>